Oh boy, we're back in Goro mode. So, I believe I've talked already about how my dad is putting in um, a hot tub, right? And how I'm helping build the, like, slab that the hot tub has to go on so that it doesn't, like, I don't know, fall over or something. Um, and so weird. Sheesh. What are y'all in the game or something talking about my commentary you know it's terrible and all that jazz but whatever i don't really need to be the one saying that is that takoyaki i think uh let's see um i believe that's mogu tako so probably yeah takoyaki let's just talk to the guy why not yes i would like takoyaki give me takoyaki you bet Oh, very cool. There's cheese takoyaki. You know what? I'm just going to get them all. Let's get one of each. We're big fans. I don't, I've never actually had takoyaki before. But it seems like the kind of thing that I might enjoy. Except for the fact that apparently Asian street food is famously difficult for people that haven't eaten Asian street food before to eat because you don't have all of the... You don't have all of the... Uh, the stuff built up. <laughs> like, um, oh, uh, let's see here. My mom went to China for some kind of tech conference thing. I don't even know why she was there. I think she was there because of her boyfriend. And, um, <laughs> my sister at the time had a boyfriend from China, like from China, Chinese. Uh, and he was basically advising them not to eat any of the street food because our, our white people guts do not have the capability to eat any of that. <laughs> um, but uh, anyways, it's a it's a good time. Oh my gosh, they're coming together. He's talking about Kiryu. Wow. So I've got, I've got this, like, I think it's 8 by 8, it's probably actually like 5 feet by 5 feet. It's either 5 foot square or 6 feet square, and we gotta like dig up uh, like 2 inches of dirt and all that jazz and chop up the grass and all that. But the great part about it, right? Is that our yard isn't level at all? You guys must guys must be masochists. You're telling me. I gotta say, I feel like I pick a better punch than I feel like Majima picks a packs a bigger punch than freaking Kiryu just because I have this fancy bat that I carry around at all times, and it's real nice. It will absolutely do damage. Oh my, I didn't even notice that that guy had some kind of weapon. Haha, <laughs> not getting hit by that. I like how this sucker just like, oh, okay, not cool. I really don't like being shot, and being stabbed is like second on that list of things that I don't like. Good thing this guy only has a dinky little sword. Yeah, right. I guess sword is technically like significantly worse than knife. Um... Well, then again, when you're get, when you're talking about like middling to low ranges, and a knife might even be better than a sword, just because you can kind of you have a better sense for maneuvering around a sword that's a bit more unwieldy. Whereas a knife, you can just move in closer, you know. Sword is, I guess, a really middle distance kind of weapon. It's interesting how just like how efficient a knife is at, at close range, though. Like, pretty much best weapon close range. Knife. Of any kind. <laughs> well, I don't know about of any kind, you know, box cutter, you might not be doing too terribly much damage. Like, you'd be doing a lot of damage, but... Uh, about as much as uh, something that can cut an inch deep can. I guess there are longer box cutters, but whatever. And, you know, there are plentiful stories about people getting sliced up and killed by box cutters, so maybe, maybe this wasn't a good example. <laughs> if I knew about more knives, yeah, if, if only people, you know, got got killed on the news with other kinds of knives, I would have better examples. But they don't, because apparently box cutters are a lot easier to get their hands on. 
Anyways, back to the hot tub, right? I've got like uh, probably a good uh, mm, three feet by four feet left to dig up of dirt, and that's been going pretty good. It's actually I've I've been kind of enjoying doing it, except for the fact that you know it's hot outside. That's not great, but you know it's good to sweat sometimes. So I think today. I'm just gonna go out, dig stuff, probably run for a bit. I was gonna, what was I gonna do? Oh, jeez. My problem is that I keep, I want to work out. But if I go outside and dig stuff, then if I work out two, because I was gonna also break up my work today into two different digging sessions, about an hour apart. So if I, if I then work out, and run in that middle hour, then I'm basically just working for like two or three hours straight. And, uh, I mean, I don't even have a job right now. That's Monday. That's Monday morning me, all right? Why would I want to work for more than an hour at a time when I'm just going to be working for like eight hours at a time come Monday morning? No, thank you. Especially not in this heat. So, you know, I pro I'll probably do it anyways. <laughs> Just that I'm getting sweaty all at once and I'm not coming inside and, um, you know, making a mess of my room by putting my sweaty self all over my bed sheets or anything like that. Hmm? Doll girl. That's alright. I don't really want to look at her on the off chance that she has a porcelain doll face. Hey, what's up, fellas? Oh, my gosh. He just had a sword on him. I guess we're taking him out first, then. That was easy. I wonder if we can pick up the sword. Probably. I also keep remembering that I maybe could actually benefit by, um... Doing other things as, as Goro. Ow. You know what? I don't care. I sure like breaker style just because you know oh my gosh he broke me I'm the breaker not you all right we're going back to thug for this just because I can <laughs> honestly I think Majima might just be like objectively better than Kiryu <laughs> even thug form is faster you know also yeah I have hella money how is Slugger the thing I have spent the least amount of money on? Seriously. Slugger style is like, the best. Objectively, the greatest. Pretty much. Unless, actually, hold on. I gotta remember... Ah, aha! That takes down everything it touches, very nice. I gotta remember to like actually come in here and spend money on these. Also, are all of the Y, are all of the yellow ones, yeah, I think the yellow ones are all just health upgrades. I'll take them. I will absolutely take them. Especially, especially with how this game seems to go with me at the helm here. Um, and you know what, I'll, I'll check the other styles. Why not? I can't wait for uh, Majima to just be completely stacked and Kiryu to have Jack Diddley squat. It's gonna happen, fellas. It's just gonna happen. Hum. I guess I have to go train for some of these. Well, that's unfortunate. And I can't even get anything else here. I think I'm actually out. No, there's, there's some two million ones. There's some two million ones. I can get those. Aha! Pose soul. That's quite something. They have some wacky names for some of these. Anyways. Oh, right. I have to go along the... What? Highly evasive spinning move that can be performed when you have your guard up. Wow. I can't wait for Goro to just start moonwalking. Majima, I guess. We're not, we're not friends, so I can't just call him Goro. Or, well, hold on. He's Goro Majima. Which means that Majima is his given name. And Goro is his surname. 
So, if we're not friends, I would call him Gor- Right? I mean, they call him Majima. Whatever. Wait, whatever. Anyways, let's just get going. Um, yeah. <sighs> so, the work's fun enough. It's fine. I don't dislike, you know, going outside and getting sweaty. So, you know. Why wouldn't I dislike digging out a box of dirt? And some trenches for wood and stuff. Like, that's it's fun. It's a good time. Hey. Are you Billikinson? How's it going? <laughs> mm. See? His name is Billikin, so I think he's good Billikin. Yeah, he's Goro Majima, which means Majima is his given name. Alright. We're calling him by his first name then. <laughs> Oi. Tell me where this Kazuma Kiryu fellow is. Or I guess Kazuma. Right, we talked about this last time, I think. Kazuma. I had thought like, pretty much adopted Kiryu and Nishikiyama. And the fact that his name is Kazuma Kiryu doesn't help, because I kept mixing the... I, I kept thinking it was Ka Kazama Kiryu, but it's not. It's Kazuma Kiryu. Wacky. But whatever. I don't know how that actually works, to be honest. So, yeah. Ain't that considerate. I'm pretty sure we're looking for the guy. <laughs> Have some class. What do you want me to whack a guy or something? You want me to beat people up, don't you? I'll do it. Oh. Okay, that works too. I mean, that's a, that's a much easier job. Timing's perfect. Boat? We're getting on a boat? Oh, are we jumping onto the boat? A pleasure, Barge. Shut up and get on the boat. Uh, yeah, I do. So I guess we're getting on the boat. I wonder if they have a payphone on the boat. Seeing as um, everything seems to be landline, I'm going to guess not. And that I have gotten myself into a uh, very long form kind of trouble again. Oh well. Nishitani. Oh, I'm an idiot. I thought they were talking about Nishiyama. No, Nishitani. Well, hold on. Nishitani, Nishiyama. Nishiyama, Nishitani. Isn't that a bit too similar? That to be his name. I forget what his surname is. Hmm. Oh. Well. I don't know. We'll figure it out, I'm sure. And by we, I mean I. The royal we. Me. Myself. Oh, was he now? Oh. <laughs> I sure hope they're talking about the same guy. Never seen a baby so good at shopping. What do you mean, pal? A baby can get away with anything. You ever seen, like, birds go into a convenience store and steal stuff? I don't see why baby would be any different. I mean, come on. Who's looking at the baby besides everybody? And then he robs the place, and they're like, Oh, he just committed a robbery. Oh. You know. Okay, I don't think we're talking about Nishikiyama anymore. <laughs> wow. What compels a detective to serve as point man for a guy like that? Really? We're stopping right in the middle of the river? What in the heck? Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> wow. This is... This is elaborate. Oh my gosh. That is... That looks expensive. 
No, I don't even know what to say other than that looks expensive. Oh? That's not very great. Oh. Oh, okay, never mind. I thought that was an actual guy, like a straight up guy, like an actual like living man. But it's a it's one of them uh it's one of them restaurant standees. Very cool. I appreciate it. But also oh wow. Wow. Wacky. I conned some rich pricks into doing it for me. Nice. I think I'm gonna let the dialogue play out while they're actually, like, being animated. You know? It's a cabaret club. Never mind, it is not a cabaret club. Unless those guys are actually gals, which I doubt. See, they're not. Am I going to have to fight my way through a gauntlet of, like, 20 men or something? I sure hope not. Uh... What? 73.2. Wow. This place is whack. The ring! They're going to get in the ring! Oh, boy. Anyways, <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Oh, crap. Yeah. Yep. Money, probably. Oh. Wait, hold on. Did this guy basically just kidnap me? I guess. I think I think that's actually what happened. I have to I have to fight for a year. Real classy. Very nice. All in the name of world peace. That's probably what it would actually take to something similar, I guess. Very nice. I do like money, so as long as you give me a cut, I'll beat the crap out of people for as many days as you like. Okay, maybe I didn't actually say that. It seems to be the case that I did. God, I turned the fan off for 10 minutes and now I'm about to like have my head hit my desk. Because <laughs> it seems to me like the fan sometimes has the effect of distorting the audio. But at the same time, hell, I've got like a 10 foot tall ceiling. It might only be 8 feet tall. It seems like a 10 foot tall ceiling. It's a pretty high ceiling. And the ceiling fan's way up there. You know, maybe a foot down from the wall. Maybe a foot and a half. I give you. And you're telling me that it's gonna distort my audio? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe if I was uh, trusting my like two and a half foot, three foot diff distance from here to the microphone that's embedded into my laptop, but what did he tell me to do? Please tell me there's a payphone somewhere. Ooh, a pinup. Right? Nice. That's a, uh, you really put the name in a... Uh, anyways, yeah. Can I leave? Yes. I can just come back here later, right? Do I have to, like, find the guy? Oh, cool. I can just come back here later. Very cool. You know what? I think I will go back there later. Um, on the next episode of Yakuza 0... I understand we didn't really do too terribly much here, but hey, I mean, we found a sexy pinup, and the name was in a suggestive place to make it almost seem like um, she wasn't, you know. Anyways, I'll just leave it at that. I'll, I'll leave it still suggestive, almost as suggestive as the sexy pinup we found. 
there's a way to look well okay yeah this is just for the sake this is this is just for the this is just for the sake of yeah you know I don't know that I can actually play off that uh, trying to find the um, the freaking the the pinup section partner shots oh no that's the business section well come on there's got to be like a adventurer huh well you know again this really isn't important but I would love to know where exactly they are because that seems like the kind of thing that you would like you know leave for uh, you know you gotta find out uh, you gotta fill out a completion list somewhere it's hot man it's hot all right valuables no never mind or maybe yes telephone cards yes okay well hey we figured it out anyways I'm uh, I really I don't need to explain what I was talking about earlier are they all the same yeah some of them some of them are the same girl cool and they're like they're like real pictures that's not a swimsuit is it is that a swimsuit whatever we're, we're not gonna worry about that let's um let's say that yes it is and then just not worry about it cool we found the valuables it's invaluables <laughs> uh that's great you know what i think we're just gonna leave it at that for now <laughs> We spent way too much of this looking for the sexy pinups. <laughs> the real, the real friggin', the real uh, Japanese youngster experience looking for sexy pinups by the river. Oh boy, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm, I gotta go. <laughs> I'm gonna go dig holes in the yard. See you next time. Till then, like, comment, and subscribe, or I'm gonna beat you half to death. Goodbye! Yeah, I hope that one. I thought it was pretty funny.